today. We reached a high of 36 degrees, the normal high for this time of year, 34, so not too far off. Our low is a little bit warmer than that normal low of 20. For your daycast tomorrow, we'll be starting off on the colder side, 22 degrees at 8 a.m., 35 by lunchtime with plenty of sunshine around there. There may be some patchy fog early on, but overall our skies will stay mostly clear. Live Doppler 2 HD is clear, a few clouds moving in out of the west. That will continue with some passing clouds through the night. Most of the cloud coverage will stay well off to our west, though. We have a little bit of high pressure trying to develop over the plains, but this low pressure system is where a lot of eyes will be, especially across the the southern states. This system already starting to produce a little bit of snow there into Texas. All of the snow accumulation expected for those southern states from Texas to Louisiana and even into Mississippi. Parts of Alabama may get a little bit of snow and we're not going to see anything. No rain, no snow through the first half of the week, but by Friday, late Friday, early Saturday. So next week and basically we have a chance to see a little bit of snow. Afternoon winds is what you're going to notice this uh, this week. The 15 mile per hour winds out of the southwest there on Wednesday. We'll keep those southwest winds into Thursday, so that's going to allow our temperatures to continue to warm a little bit, staying in the 40s midweek. Right now, though, we are sitting on the colder side, 23 degrees from our weather checker Jim Robbins there in Beaver Creek, 25 in Cedarville, Betty Shappy in Versailles, 26, Jim in Eaton, 24. Right now. So tonight we're going to be around 21 degrees in Dayton. We will see clear skies and calm conditions, but there may be a little bit of patchy fog that develops with those calm winds. Our sunset earlier was at 5:30. The sun will rise at 7:58 a.m. Tomorrow's high 39 degrees with mostly sunny skies, but we are going to see the cloud coverage increase heading into the evening. 39 degrees, once again, your high. That will be the afternoon temperature staying there in the upper 30s. On future track, notice we are going to see a mostly a clear start with just the chance for a little bit of patchy fog. Cloud coverage increasing to the west as the sun sets, and then those clouds will overtake the Miami Valley as we head into Monday morning. But Monday afternoon, we'll see some clearing going on once again for a mostly sunny end. To the day on Monday. In your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast, we are looking at temperatures getting into the 40s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, winds pick up out of the southwest. Temperatures may be in the mid to upper 40s, and then we'll see a shift in the winds back out of the west northwest. 40% chance for some of that light snow heading into Friday. So, um, a look at uh, a couple of big things happening tomorrow, of course, uh, is going to be the Browns at the Steelers in Pittsburgh. We are looking at a cold game, but no precipitation for that game. 31 degrees there at kickoff. So overall, it's a cold start to the week ahead, but not too bad for some football weather. Thanks, Carly.